Tatum oh. from the opera The Barber of Seville. Oh. Let's see, the Munich Radio Symphony Orchestra of Shell. This is a Barber of Seville? And the soloist was Simon King. Good morning! Oh. Welcome! Oh. 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 Nice! Good morning! Oh. It's looking like it's about to rain here. Last night or Sterling, we are say, leaving the Hispanic Bar. This weekend's the sun. Next weekend, worth checking out. Heading down to Falkirk. Um, I'm overweight. Jeez, I'm something that. The Leeds leader first. I loaded the car up last night. Took the stuff out of the van. And jeez, got some weight in it. Like, I've got. Uh, I've got about 24 boxes in it. Oh! A lot of them are books, um, so I really. Uh, so it's a lot, but it doesn't feel. It's just the the pressure on the airbags at the back is sort of, I suppose, concerning. Um, so sooner we get this shit out of the car, the better. Really. Is all I can say. But I was like, I didn't go to bed to about half past ten last night, and really I needed more sleep than that. But I was sort of like, when I went to bed, I thought, because I loaded the car up so much, uh, I really need to get rid of that stuff. You know? I saw in cruise control, get the armrest down. I thought, I can't afford to, you know, like, sleep in or something. So I need to get down there. Well, because of the rain, I thought we'll need to get down to Falkirk. Because uh, Stirling, Stirling's got an inside bit, but it's slightly awkward. Getting stuff unloaded at Stirling. Falkirk's a better option. Other options would be go to uh, Blochairn, Glasgow, uh, Lanark. The problem with Lanark is you don't get a huge amount of space. What I've got, it could probably cost more there. Because obviously it's further away as well. Uh, Edinburgh, Corn Exchange. It's a bit further. There's Ocean Terminal, but it looks like Ocean Terminal would be okay. It's an awkward to get to if, you're, if you don't live in Edinburgh. Um, <clears throat> would that be a two or uh, MR2, no it's a, is it IS, an MR2? <clears throat> the best option is Falkirk. I just go there and behave, try not to fall out with anyone. You just, just remember and have your anchor point in your mental health, which I've got. Uh, it's just try and like have some kind of stability to lean back on. I don't want to say what that is exactly with me, but the yellow one and everything for us. But um, there's something that I, I remind myself of. Before I start, say like worrying too much about anything that might go wrong in my life. You know, like falling out with somebody at a car boot sale or something. Uh, which is potentially uh, has happened to me a lot recently because I can't. Sometimes I can't control. And it's just a human thing, isn't it? Not being able to control what you, what you say.
or think about the consequences, the long term consequences of things that you say and do. But I seem to be managing my life reasonably well. I've got a kettle, I'm just checking the kettle there. I've got a kettle with me. This is yes, it's down there. I made the mistake, like this dash cam I've got here, I made the mistake of leaving it on all night. It's in the van. So that's from uh, probably about six or five or half past five, twenty twenty four in the morning. And the reason I was wanting to get some footage of it, but the, the van, the cable is live, you know, the, the cigarette lighter. The fucking thing's been on all night. So, I mean, all I'm going to get is, I mean, it'd be quite boring looking through it, but you might see the cat, <laughs> or other cats. Coffee, yeah. I decided I'd get one at Falkirk when I get there, and that way I can get my car parked up. Uh, because of the rain, it'll fill up, this place will fill up. Uh, so I'm actually quite sharp today, it's half past four in the morning at the moment. Like say I didn't get in here, I would need to, I don't know what I'd do, Just need to go to Glasgow, Edinburgh or Stirling. what I would do at the moment if that was the case but that's really highly unlikely but I'm always like sneak little worry that oh there's the Kelpies that somebody would complain about me making videos actually because um, people could be funny about videos I think I think they're generally getting more used to them than you know Like, it's a sort of, like, kind of, sort of fact of modern life, isn't it? Uh, that, that, people, that there's a lot of, well, we're getting videoed all the time, aren't we? Uh, but some people get really, really funny. But I, th I think that, that initially, like, say, like, when, when this started, you know, when camera phones became very common, there was quite a lot of people really funny about videos. You know that thing if you're in a, a public space and you're going to... I don't know why, I mean, what is it? You might be doing drugs or something, some of the illegal activities. You might be on benefits, you might be on the dole. That was the thing. That, that attitude stems back from, you know, like this... The thing is, the universal credit system has actually changed quite a lot. Um, whereas it was a social, it was a social faux pas. So is that the word? To be not working, you know, it's like really reprehensible in your community if, if somebody thought that you were claiming benefits and working, and so that you wouldn't want to be videoed. But it's now. A lot of people, still older people, haven't grasped on how the system's changed. There's a lot of people are working like couples, and they're on universal credit because you know because their wage, their money, wages is not up to a certain level. I'm, I'm not very lucky with the lights today, am I? Jeez. <coughs> um. <laughs> yeah. 
The lights is not going my way. Oh, fucking hell. Twice. Red. And they're taking fucking ages to change as well. Come on, to fuck. It's nothing on the road, and we're sitting here. Uh, thankfully, this Mazda driver is not a dither. Oh. Fucking hell, more red lights! Ah! How's this fucking sh red lights? It's three in a row! Don't tell me this one's got to change the red. Maybe the Mazda is a dither. Oh Jesus. Yeah, we're, you know, it's, it's like five, four in the morning, you know what I mean? You don't have to worry about police speed traps or anything like that. God. So here we are. Alright, oh, yeah, turning off the same place I'm going. I suppose it's not surprising, but it doesn't look like it's got car boot stuff in it, but they're probably buyers. Yeah, I mean, videos of car boot sales, I always make them positive. You know, I would never slag off a car boot sale. Unless I was banned from it or something. And even then, I wouldn't do it, because you'd stop yourself from getting back in it, couldn't you? Fire engine sitting in. I mean, basically, generally in business, you should never really slag MD off. Ever. You know? Uh, it's just a bad idea. What we've got here. Um, where are we going? Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Right. Far end. Thanks. Oh. 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 So it's raining. It's raining! It's got it. I'll tell you one thing. Um, I'll tell you one thing. It's fucking nearly full already. And it's half past four. That's impressive. Anyway, thanks for watching that video. Catch you later. Bye.